it's LPS Honey and today I'm going to be showing you how to make DIY bandages for your LPS. By the way, what do you guys think of my bow? I think it looks hilariously big. So, if you watch my series, LPS Love Hurts, you'll know that Naomi, the main character, has two different scenes where she's wearing two different types of bandages. So today I'm going to be showing you both techniques to kind of give your LPS that injured look for series or skits or whatever you need it for. So technique number one is this one here. This is personally my favorite technique because you can add as much detail as you want to the top. So let's get started with the items you will need. So you will need a small band-aid. This one here is from Elastoplast. It's a brand here in Australia for sensitive skin, but I'm sure any band-aid company would be able to make these small little band-aids. You also need a small piece of blue tack. And if you want to add some extra detail, I recommend some red paint and a Q-tip or a paintbrush, whatever you have on hand. So step number one is you're going to take your small band-aid and pull off this little center piece here. This piece here is to kind of protect whatever cut you have on your skin. But for this DIY, we're just going to gently pull it off. Make sure not to rip it because this is going to be your main part of your bandage. So there we go. So you should be left over with this piece here. This is sticky as you can see. So this is like the main part of the band-aid. You can use this for bandaging as well which I'll show you later in the video but for now we're just going to put it off to the side. This is the main part we wanted here, the center of the band-aid. So once you have this you can go ahead and grab your LPS. So for this particular DIY I'm going to be using this little guy here. So once you have your LPS, simply take your little piece of blue tack and stick it wherever you want your band-aid to be on your LPS. Then take the small piece we pulled off earlier and just place it on top of the blue tack. Make sure you press down fairly firmly just so it stays in place. So once you have that stuck down, just take your Q-tip and paint and dab a little bit on the end, not too much. Then you can take your LPS and start adding a little blood effect to your bandage. I think that looks pretty good. And then you just let your paint dry and voila, you have your LPS bandage. Of course you don't have to add the blood effect but I think it just adds that little extra realism to the bandage. Also, when you pull off the inside of the band-aid, this small square here, one side will be fluffy and one side will be smooth. As you can see on this LBS I used the smooth side and on this LBS I used the fluffy side. You can kind of see all the pieces sticking up the top there. As you can see it's a bit scruffier looking compared to this one. So it all depends what kind of look you're going for. If you want a more clean bandage or you kind of want like a scruffy looking bandage that's been on there for a while. It all depends up to you. Alrighty, let's move on to the next type of bandage you can use on your LPS. So for this next type of bandage I'm going to be using this little bunny right here. So for this DIY you're going to need some tape and a tissue. This DIY is a lot easier but you don't get to put as much detail into it I guess. This is a piece of tissue I ripped earlier so just rip it to the size you want to cover. So once you've ripped your tissue you're just going to wrap it around whatever part of the LPS you want to have the bandage. You can scrunch it up a bit as well to make it smaller or bigger in certain areas. Just like so. So once the area is bandaged as you want it, you're going to take some tape so you can hold it down. Also, you do not need a lot of tape. I'm used to using a small rectangle here. So you're going to take your bandaged area and just tape it down. Like so. And from the front, you wouldn't even be able to tell that it's taped down because all you can see is the bandage. So there's the bandage all done guys. Of course you can use blue tack for this DIY as well, but I recommend tape because you can kind of see the blue tack through the tissue paper and also it rips it quite easily. 
Also, like I said earlier, I'd be showing you a way you can use this for a band-aid. This is the leftover part of the band-aid, the sticky part. So to use it, all you need to do is simply find an area and stick it on. Of course, you will need to be very careful with this. Do not stick it on any eyes or anything fragile like that because you don't want it peeling off any paint. So there's a comparison between the band-aid and the tissue paper. And of course the band-aid doesn't wrap completely around but you're not really looking at the back of the LPS. But like I said, avoid using this on any eyes or any like sensitive areas of an LPS like its nose or anything like that because you don't want it peeling off any of the paint. So there we go guys, two main ways I make bandages for my LPS as well as a little bonus. Of course I do prefer making bandages this way but these two are really good for big areas of an LPS. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and found it helpful for your series or skit videos or whatever you need bandages for. And if you'd like to see other ways I do DIY things like what I use for the sticks on my LPS just let me know and I'll be sure to do a video on it. So I hope you liked this video guys and if you did, don't forget to like, comment and of course subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!